As I'm, as I'm praying, I, I just want to ask you to, to bring up those things in your life where you need Him to be a strong tower, where you need Him to be the faithful one, where you need Him to be your strength. And we're going to pray into these things because He's the only one with the answer. He's the only one with the answer. So Jesus, you are faithful. You are faithful. You are as faithful as the sunrise. So we, we cry out to you, Jesus, will you come into these situations? 
Jesus, we ask for your strength in our families, for your strength in our homes, Jesus. Jesus, would it start there? Thank you for this morning that you are empowering us, that it is not our strength but it is yours, so from this strength we say, Jesus, come. Come and show your, show your faithfulness. We rely on you, Jesus, from this place. You're interceding for us, and we say yes to what you're praying for our families. I ask for the, for the cousins that are wayward, the brothers and the sisters that that may not know the Lord Jesus, we stand on your word and we say you are the one that is faithful. We stand together with your prayers. Jesus, mothers and fathers, relationships restored. The peace that has been lost, we say yes, Jesus, bring it back, back. Yeah, we declare peace in marriages. Jesus, I thank you for the marriages that are in this room or if it's a live stream. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would come and intervene in those marriages. I don't know what is going on, but we just say strength giver, strong tower. Would you be the strength for this husband and wife, Lord? Would you be the strong tower that is holding them? Would you be the strong tower that is restoring where there's been, um, where there's been, I just, yeah. Where there's been a distrust, Lord, in marriages or a lack of trust, Holy Spirit, we pray that Strong Tower, you would come in with your peace, with your joy, with your love and your kindness. And we just pray, Holy Spirit, that as, as his husband and wife, that you would show them, show them one another as they're being restored in you. You are restoring. I thank you, Jesus, that you are strong enough. I thank you that that a marriage issue is not hard for you to, to deal with or to handle. And so I thank you for restoration. I thank you for rekindling love once again in their hearts for you, but for one another. If it's in the room or live stream, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for these relationships. I, I thank you for wisdom in these relationships. I thank you for clarity in these relationships, Lord. And I thank you for the husband as he leads, Lord, as he leads his wife and his family, and for the wife as she follows, Lord, and as she leads her family and her children, Lord. Yeah, I just thank you for the children, God, in these marriages. That, and I thank you, Lord, that you are raising up these children to know you and to love you. Yeah, even at a young age, Jesus, I thank you that they are encountering you, Holy Spirit, and that they will continue to encounter you in their older age. Yeah, Jesus, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I just also feel like for, if you're in this room, like for your, for the hearts in this room, like if you feel like 2019 kind of carried into 2020 for you, whatever it looks like for you I want you to like either put your hand on your heart or stand up or do something active to like I just I want you to I want us to want us to to be zealous for this his pursuit for us so to grab hold of what we're going for and so Jesus I just pray for the hearts in this room if 2019 was hard I just pray Lord that you would come in strong tower as we've as we've, as we've been singing and declaring your strength I just pray Holy Spirit that your strength would just um, overwhelm their hearts 
it would overwhelm our hearts and it would melt the hearts of stone in this room. It would melt, melt away the pain, melt away the hurt, melt away the depression, melt away the anger, melt away where there's been joy, where there's been a lack of joy, melt it away. Strong tower, strength giver. Come in, come in into the hearts in this room where 2019 was hard and 2020 is still hard. We ask for your strength. We ask for your strength. We ask for your strength for these hearts, for these weak hearts. We say come in and wash away the filth. Wash it away, wash it away. Bring hope, bring hope. Strong one, you're the strong one, Jesus. You are the strong one. You are the strong one. There is not one heart, one heart that is too hard for you to deal with. And so we pray this as well for those that are watching live stream wherever, if it's whatever space they're in. We thank you that you're meeting them in those spaces, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. You're melting away the hearts of stone, the hearts of pain, the hearts of bitterness, the hearts of unforgiveness. We thank you that you're melting it away once and for all, once and for all. Thank you. Thank you. A fresh new heart for you this morning. A fresh new heart. highlighting families as well. Uh, Marin was praying about parents and, and I feel like there's just such a big call on parents. If you're a parent in this room, I feel like the, the Lord is just entrusting you with your children. He's entrusting you with your children and you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job raising them good job. I feel like that's a word from the Lord that he, he says to you, you're doing a good job. Jesus, we just thank you for parents. We thank you that they're raising up a generation in the right way. Through the word of God, Father, I ask that you would lead them. I ask that you would lead them in everything that they do, Father, in the way that they love Jesus, that it would be your love. Thank you, Jesus, for children. 